title of, of this, this project was called The Language Winner Investment and Autonomy, and Autonomy and Self-Efficacy of Spanish L2 Mormon Missionaries. This is part of my, a segment of my dissertation work. Um, and I haven't talked about it for a while. So I, I appreciate this, this opportunity. Um, and so <clears throat> to introduce um, uh, Latter Latter-day Saint missionaries, or I'm gonna call them Mormon missionaries in this presentation. They serve for two years for the males and 18 months for females. And they live together as a companionship. Oh, they're always together in pairs. And they receive intensive uh, language training uh, the first two months at a missionary training center. And then they learn on their own uh, with a Spanish language study plan. So they have to become autonomous language learners in the mission field. Um, they, uh, there's limited research, but it suggests that in the beginning of their, of their experience, uh, as a group, they have significant proficiency gains and vocabulary gains and are highly motivated. And uh, most plateau uh, towards the end of, of the, of their mission experience. And, um, and, uh, and so I was, I was wondering why, why don't they as a group continue progressing? And also why is it that some of them uh, continue, continue learning the language? And so the participants were 23 Spanish L2 missionaries in Tucson, Arizona. And, uh, and before I, I thought of what this research questions, I, I, uh, I got to know them. And they, they uh, expressed to me, um, what, what can I do to improve my Spanish? And how can I feel more motivated? Uh, uh, they didn't notice gains after a certain point in their mission. And they lost the sensation of intrinsic rewards. And they needed infield support for autonomous language learning. They didn't receive any instruction from, um, from that point on when they, when they entered the mission field. Um, and so uh, the theoret theoretical frameworks that came out of these these concerns they had are um, is investment um, or what specific social interactions the learner cares most to learn and do with others. And so this is a very social based uh, approach and uh, learn autonomy, uh, the ability to take charge of one's own learning um, involves uh, goal setting and cooperation with others and self efficacy. Uh, it's a measure of the effort and pres and persistence with an emotional reaction to success or failure. And so these frameworks are, are, are notions from a social perspective of language learning. And so my research questions were, uh, what is the effect of a, of a needs-based self-regulatory L2 pedagogy on measures of their learner autonomy and self-efficacy? And what effect does a self-regulatory learning portfolio have on their learner investment. So I, I've uh, created a language learning portfolio, a strategy for them to, to, uh, to use uh, to um, improve their learner autonomy. And uh, so the instruments were uh, the new general self-efficacy scale, which is, is a very general measure of their self-efficacy. And it it's, um, scores from one to five on a, on a Likert scale. And I uh, did use the measure of, um, uh, the measuring instrument for language learner autonomy. It's a 26 item Likert scale and uh, from one to five. And, and uh, uh, created a Spanish language portfolio using actful can-do statements uh, where the, the, the participants will, will uh, kind of gauge where they are in, in their proficiency with these can-do statements you can find on actful. And um, they reflected on about where they are, what tasks they can do. And uh, then uh, we did some SMART goal training. Um, and that SMART goals are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. And we did a, um, and it was a six week study. So a six week journal of their goals that they came up with for themselves. And they, they do follow up reflections on their goals at the end of each day. And they adapt those goals and, they, and the goals evolve. Um, so the findings were this, and I'll just explain quickly. Self-efficacy and learner autonomy. Uh, for both, there was a significant uh, difference between the pre and post measures of, of, um, of those instruments. And, uh, and the effect of the SMART goals, uh, so these are findings on what it did for their investment also. Um, it, it increased intrinsic rewards. Uh, so one, one of the participants expressed 
just being able to set good appropriate goals, ones that I could achieve quick enough, but were still hard to, hard to give me that good dopamine rush. I, I was just like, ah, you know, I got to get to that next goal. I need to grow. I noticed the most growth or the quickest growth in my mission when I was using these kinds of goals. And I observed group autonomy. Um, uh, so they quizzed each other. They set goals for, uh, for together as, as, com as companions and they restricted their English use in their meetings. And uh, they, they called language learning mentors. I forgot what they, were call what they called them in the, in the group, but these were, were uh, missionaries who had, had uh, more, um, more study skills and, and uh, knew were, were, um, could make good uh, smart goals for themselves. And they were, they were uh, like, would follow up on, on, the, on the other missionaries to help them with their language study plans. And they also expressed, uh, one of them expressed, I feel like before the mission, I, if I made a Spanish mistake, that was bad. Now it's like I make a mistake in Spanish and I have six people here to help me. And their goals evolved. Minute warning. Uh, they about, do I have two minutes? Yep, two minutes. Oh, okay, so basically their goals evolved from, from grammar-based to, to more meaning-based and they found those more enjoyable. And uh, the inf it influenced their imagined identities. They were some missionaries who, who invested in purposes beyond their proselytizing purpose for, um, for parenting, for future careers, and other findings were that there was a variance in the goal setting skills. Uh, some participants were comfortable with their proficiency and so they didn't, they didn't really engage with, this, um, with the portfolio uh, as others did. And their obedience culture uh, and common vision may make them a case in point of, of uh, group autonomy, of them all helping each other. And some participants continue to use the portfolio for, to the end of their mission without the, my presence. Um, anyways, implications for smart goal portfolios could be, or, or that they can be used to, um, in programs that prioritize autonomous language learning for specific missions. So like study abroad language for specific purposes, the Peace Corps, possibly incorporated in, into an online class where, where um, learn autonomy is so important. So this is a brief overview of, of, the, of the project and thank you.